Seth Worley here. A couple years ago, I became obsessed with the opening titles of Better Call Saul. I didn't just pour over every article about them I could find, nor did I simply recreate them on my own from scratch. I did those things, but I actually tried to make a plugin based on them. And with the help of much smarter and more talented people, that plugin actually went on to become a tool in Red Giant Universe called AV Club. AV Club is designed to make text and logos look like they've been run through a crappy old switcher in a cable access TV studio. I've since used AV Club on pretty much everything. But now I'm thinking it'd be fun to show you guys how to recreate all the other stuff in the opening titles from Better Call Saul. And not just, you know, the titles. All right, so first you're gonna need some fonts. The opening titles are so on brand for Jimmy McGill that the fonts used are all available for the good old fashioned price of free. Just Google them and they'll find you. First, in the script one casual font, we'll type out the Better Call part in yellow, making sure to force italics on it. Then we'll type out the name, Saul, or the most beautiful name you could think of, uh, in the dancing script, only capitalizing the first letter. We'll do this in red and we'll keep the force italics on. Then we're gonna do perhaps the worst thing a person can do. We're gonna squish these titles with the scaling controls in the text, like some kind of animal. Then we're gonna pre-compose them as one and apply AV Club. We're gonna apply the preset called Public Access, and then we're not gonna do a thing, because that's literally all we need to do to make the title look as crappy as it needs to look. Next, we're gonna create our background. It should be something that's not very glamorous, preferably weird and specific, with very little attention given to composition. I'm using this dumb footage I shot on my iPhone of a bunch of Jurassic Park trading cards all over my desk. AKA my desk. First, we apply the hue saturation effect and turn the saturation up until it looks gross. Then we apply curves and do pretty much the opposite of what we would normally do until it also looks gross. Then here's the trick to making it look really, truly terrible. Apply noise and set it to 25%, fast box blur set to three, and then apply the sharpen effect and just jack that thing to hell. Now you'll see it's really starting to look like 30 bucks. Now let's add some gross speckly green screen garbage. Create a solid, it can be any color, doesn't have to be green, because we're gonna immediately apply a gradient ramp with one color set to green and the other set to the same green but slightly darker. Then we'll add some turbulent noise, setting it to the dynamic blocks, with the scale turned down to around 25, complexity up to around 13, and then we'll apply an expression to the evolution. Time multiplied by a thousand. Then we set the blending mode to color dodge. Now we're gonna apply a tint filter and set it to map white to green. Then lastly, we apply a linear color key using the green from the comp as our color, setting tolerance to around 5% and softness to around 2%. And then we can mess around with all these settings until it looks just absolutely awful. Then to add some of the extra funky flourishes, let's split the clip at a random point, scale it up, then jack the hue knob around to the opposite side. Then to transition us from the original clip to the funky clip, we'll split off a small part of the original clip, apply Holomatrix 2 from Red Giant Universe, and place it before all the other effects so it can look as terrible as possible. We'll use the Holomatrix preset called Old TV Bad 2, We'll repeat that last step to create a transition out of the funk as well, and voila, it's worse. The only thing left to do now is the created by credit that appears at the end. And we get there via a gross diamond wipe, which we're gonna create using Universe's shape wipe transition, which we'll apply ahead of all the crapify effects so we can join in the grossness. We'll start with the diamond preset, we'll set the rectangle rounding to zero, and the star inset to one. Then we'll turn off the glow, turn up the width of the strokes, and set the color of the inner stroke to a faded purple and the outer stroke to a faded yellow. These colors end up getting more saturated by our crapifying effects, as you can see. We'll animate the transition to happen when we want it to, and now we just need a second clip to wipe to. I'm gonna use this clip focusing on the Ellie Sattler card. I place this under the first clip that is transitioning away, and then I copy all the crapifying effects from the first clip and paste them on the second clip. Now I need to type out my credits using the VCR OSD mono font. This is my favorite font of the three. I'm gonna make them yellow, but for maybe the first time in my After Effects career, I'm gonna apply an outline stroke to the text, making it red. Then using masks, I animate the names to blink every six frames, setting the keyframe interpolation to hold so it blinks without any fade. Lastly, I apply AV Club, setting the preset to public access, but this time I'm gonna turn off the shadow, set the jitter to zero, blockiness to zero, and edge freak out to one. And now you should have something that just looks unbelievably gross.